It's 8-Bit, you little shit, that's right, punk, just rage and quit, I don't care, don't give a fuck, it is time for me to go level up. It's 8-Bit, you little shit, that's right, punk, just rage and quit, I don't care, don't give a fuck, it is time for me to go level up. Today we're talking about Power Instinct, a fighting game that came out during the hype of Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Shaq Fu, you know, all the big ones, all the hits, all the classics in the fighting game genre. Now this was for a bunch of different consoles. This was on, uh, you know, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, uh, Sega Saturn, Neo Geo, if anyone knows what the fuck that is, I don't. But I'm gonna try and focus on the arcade game because that was the only version I could find an actual ROM for. Do people even still go to arcades anymore? Let, let, me, let me check that. No, okay, I guess not. Fuck it. So on the surface, when I started playing this game, it just looked like your typical ass Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat knockoff. You know, you got the usual cast of characters, but I did notice that the game has a pretty unique sense of humor to it. Kind of like Shaq Fu, except, you know, it doesn't blow. The first few rounds of characters are the typical characters that you'd see in one of these kind of games. You know, you got like a ninja guy, you know, he plays Fortnite, he's got blue hair, all that kind of stuff. Next character is like a fucking weeaboo or some shit, trying to show off, you know, his, his costume for like, you know, the nerd convention and whatnot, trying to show off in that realm. Trying to hook up with some Sailor Moon cosplay hoes, know what I'm saying? But the best part of the game is when they have you going up against a little old lady. She's easily the fucking toughest character I had throughout the entire game. She has this ability where she latches onto you and she fucking sucks your face and apparently it takes off a bunch of your life points and it's like, yo, yo, you nasty old hoe, get the fuck off me, yo. I swear, bruh, shit's fucking nasty. Let's just stop to appreciate the fact that this game actually has you fighting the elderly. <laughs> After her, there's a bunch of other characters. Like, there's this one girl who I, is a, I don't know, a cheerleader or something? She's a Dallas cheerleader. I don't, I don't fucking know. She's just this, like, young hot thing that you're supposed to fight. Every fighting game had that. There was always, like, the one token hot chick that you were supposed to fight in these games. Like, you know, in Street Fighter, they got Chun-Li and then Mortal Kombat. Well, actually, wait. Who are, who are some of the female characters you had to fight in Mortal Kombat? Um, oh god, what was her name? Who was the green one? Like in Mortal Kombat, you had like Jade and Katana, and then uh, Chun-Li and Street Fighter. There always, always has to be like the one smoking hot chick you gotta fucking fight in these games. There's even parts where it looks like you're fighting yourself. It just looks like a recolor of you. And I know, again, a bunch of other fighting games do that. Like, I know Street Fighter did that as well. Close to the end of the game, and it turns out the real enemy was you all along. But then when I got to the end of the game, I shit you not, the final enemy is the old lady once again. And it was at that point I was like, yo, I'm starting to like these fucking games, because it turns out there's actually more than one Power Instinct game. So I think I was kind of sold on this game, just based on the fact it seems to be a fighting game, like one of these... Mortal Kombat Street Fighter clones that actually has a good sense of humor to it. It has like a wide variety of different goofy characters. There were a bunch of games that tried to do that as well, like Shaq Fu and there was this other game. I don't remember what, where it was for, but it was on fucking Atari Jaguar, but it was also really shit. But this is an example of how to do this kind of shit correctly, and I'm glad that there's more games. I really want to check out more of the games in this series. This was actually fucking fun. Although if I have to complain about anything, I gotta say, this like this whole text crawl they got at the beginning where you're supposed to read, first of all, it's a video game. I shouldn't have to read shit. Secondly, how are you supposed to read when it looks like the text is blending in with the background, okay? That shit's inefficient, okay? So because of that, game score, zero out of 10, will not play again, my IGN review. Not but for real though, the game's pretty good, I gotta say, it's pretty fucking good.